Unbelievable, quite shocking. Additional review what would have happened to Nigeria if Buhari did not win the 2015 election speaks on the alleged cabal in Aso Rock. Hello, my wonderful people. Additional was talking to a close friend. And um, whether you like it or not, these people, although they lie to themselves, okay? They lie to themselves. Femi Additional, God will help you. God will help you. God will help you. Don't worry. I know what I'm saying when I say God will help you. You know, some people, you cannot be in the corridor. You cannot say, no, I did not do the bad thing, no. But you were there when the evil was happening. Do you know that even in human law, yeah, even in human law, that you did not, you were not part of the crime, but you knew about the alleged crime. You knew that it was going to cause death, you know. You had a knowledge and you did nothing about it and it happened. Do you know what they call you? An accomplice to that crime. Although you did not, I mean, it's not your business, but you had a knowledge of it and you did nothing about it. It's called, you are called an accomplice and in law, you are held responsible for doing nothing. Do you understand me? So you see when I mean that God will help additional for concealing lies and things that have been going on that is very well aware because of money. Okay? At the end of the day, it's because of ego. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. In case you are wondering what ego means in Igbo, it means money. Kudi in Aosa, Owo in Yoruba, uh, money in money in English. <laughs> Let's get all the details. Femi Adeshino, the special advisor, media and publicity to President Muhammad Buhari, has declared that his principles saved the country from disintegration. He made this known during an interview with Vanguard and said Buhari has recovered a huge success in the last six years plus of his administration. The presidential aide noted that APC administration led by President Muhammad Buhari has lived Nigeria better than it was when he met it in 2015. He said if Buhari had not won the election, Nigeria would have been plunged into more insecurity, that Buhari actually saved the country from an impending danger that was ahead of it. Additionally, you don't need to speak much, and you don't need to talk with all your mouth, we understand. Do you know the Chibo girls? This is me just speaking. This is not the news. I just paused for a minute. Do you know the Chibo girls, the whole thing that happened? Do you know that it was orchestrated by Northerners, name withheld? Do you know it was all orchestrated? It was all calculated to ensure that good luck Ebele Jonathan was discredited before the nations of the world, that he cannot adequately protect the nation. Do you know it was well organized? But guess what? And the, even the Bible says anyone who digs a pit will fall the rain. This is what is happening to this administration. You see this whole bandit and Boko Haram, they created it. Oh, they created it to destabilize. They say, you don't know you are the leader. You are the one. Do you know what Usman and Fodo fought for in the 1809 century? When, you know, 1809 when he was, when the British prevented him from gaining this land for us. Arise. They began to put them in cells, gave them food, gave them water, gave them admonitions. They did not know that they would win the election. They won the election and they abandoned the people. Now the people have turned the very menac to this very society. And they are watching with disbelief how the lion they took as a pet is eating up their children. Let's continue. The special advisor medium to President Muhammad Buhari has said that there would be, there wouldn't have been no Nigeria by today if Buhari did not win the said election in 2015. In an ex exclusive interview with Vanguard, he said nobody could have stopped the downward spiral span which the country was going to, the insecurity that the election Buhari winning actually saved the nation. He said gathering for how far Buhari has worked today shows Nigerians that they have made the right choice. Who told you Nigeria? Nigerians are counting the hours. Have you heard of the word called countdown? The final countdown. Nigerians are counting down by the seconds and seeing how terrible you guys are. Okay? And see how terrible you guys are. So this is what is going on right now. This is what is happening. And this is all we are all witnessing. This is all we are all witnessing. Listen, guys, if we don't rise up and say the truth, okay, you, you will see that this nation, there are people who continue to commit all forms of crime and atrocities and they go scot-free, all covered by the very government. They cover, I mean, this very government cover them and aid them and keep quiet and pretend that all is well. 
But let somebody else do the same thing. You will see the repercussion of all that is happening. Wake up, Nigeria. Wake up, Nigerians. It is the dawn of a new day. We cannot allow ourselves to be manipulated and oppressed by these said people who say they are government. Alarm bell be rang. Nigerian government will not declare Boko Haram as terrorists. Listen, they just killed 20 soldiers and burned their bodies. Yet nobody says anything. Business as usual, life continue and pretend that all is well. This is what is happening, my people. This is what is going on. This is what we are experiencing now as we speak. You know, this is what is going on now as we speak. People can no longer, you know, speak. You speak in this country, you become the target. You, you, you keep quiet, they, they won't let you rest. So what exactly do we do? How do we go about it? Do we fold our arms and keep quiet and pretend that all is well? Wake up call. Nigerians, it is time for us all to rise up. It is time for us all to rise up to the truth, you know, that these things are happening. The Attorney General of the Federation, you know, told Nigerians that it has nothing to do with the, with the, with the home invasion of uh, Chief Justice Mary Odili. You have nothing to do with it. But, you, but the chief magistrate is saying that you fooled him into signing the, the search warrant order. So exactly who is deceiving who? Where are we in this country? Where are we? Where are we? Why so much deceit going on? Government official, you can't, you can't hear truth. You can't hear something from one of them and believe with hook, like, and sinker that if this person has said so, he or she has integrity. I believe in what she has said. I take it that this is what it is. No truth. There is no truth. What is truth now? What is the truth in this administration, in this government? It's not there. It's not there. We haven't got no truth. We just got people who lie to us, using the law, the promise of the law, to speak left, right, and center, and nothing is happening. The evil continues. The evil continues to spread. And perpetration of more evil continues to happen. These things ought to stop. Nigerians, it is a real call for every one of us to understand that we've got a duty. And that duty is to speak out and not to be what uh, held down by some evil deceit going on. Okay? Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless you. Have a lovely and a fantastic day. Remember, you have a voice. Let it count. Bye for now. Bye.